Chapter three, Spanish California. Chapter three, lesson one, vocabulary in the section. Conquistador, peninsula, current. Lesson one, first Europeans in California. Build on what you know. How long do you think it would take travelers from Asia or Europe to reach California by jet today? In the 1500s, it took explorers many months on small ships. A search for riches, main idea. European explorers found California when they looked for a way to reach Asia. In 1492, a sailor named Christopher Columbus sailed west across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain. He hoped to find a new trade route to Asia so that he could trade for spices, gold, and other Asian goods. Instead, he landed in North America. Europeans at that time did not know about this continent. Christopher Columbus is shown at the right. Born in Italy, Columbus explored the Atlantic Ocean for Spain on his journey in 1492. Explorers from Europe. Spain's rulers sent conquistadors to North America to find gold and new lands. The word conquistador means conqueror in Spanish. Conquistadors took large areas of land from the American Indians already there. A Spanish conquistador named Hernán Cortés conquered the Aztec people of present-day Mexico in 1521. The lands he took from the Aztecs he called New Spain. Cortés sent a group of explorers up the Pacific coast. He hoped that they would find a waterway through North America. Such a waterway would help shorten the distance that ships had to sail between Europe and Asia. Naming California. In 1535, the explorers found land they call, they thought was an island. They called it California. A book of the 1500s spoke of an imaginary island called California. The land the Spanish named California was not an island, however. It was a peninsula. A peninsula is land surrounded by water on three sides. The Spanish called the peninsula Baja California. Baja means lower in Spanish. They called the land to the north Alta California. Alta means upper. Alta California is now the state of California in the United States. Baja California is in Mexico. Review. Why did Spain's rulers send conquistadors to North America? Hernán Cortés. If you look at the picture at the top, you'll see a photograph of Hernán Cortés. He met with the Aztec leader in 1519. Later, Cortés defeated the Aztecs and took their land for Spain. A Spanish helmet from the time is shown on the right. Exploring the coast. Main idea. In the 1500s, sailors from Spain and England explored the coast of California. In 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo led an expedition from New Spain. An expedition is a trip taken for a reason. The reason Cabrillo sailed was to look for a waterway through North America. He took about 250 sailors. Some in his crew were enslaved American Indians and Africans. Cabrillo sailed north up the coast of Baja, California. After months of sailing, he came to the area where San Diego is today. He became the first European sailor to visit Alta, California. Cabrillo's arrival. If you look at the photo below, you'll see that Juan Rodrigo Cabrillo led the first European expedition to land ships in Alta, California. Alta, California. Cabrillo met people of different California Indian nations, including the Kumeye, Tongva, and Chumash. Cabrillo wrote that the Chumash had many very good canoes. Some of the Chumash, including the woman who was their leader, canoed to his ship. The Chumash gave the sailors wood, water, and fish. The expedition sailed most of the way up the coast of California. Further north, rough waters forced the ships to turn back. The expedition returned to Navidad, New Spain, the next year. There was no waterway through the North America, but the Cabrillo ships were the first to explore Alta California's coast. The Manila Galleons. In the 1500, the Spanish were more interested in Asia's wealth than in California. They had captured some Pacific islands that were rich in spices. They named them the Philippines after Spain's king, King Philip II. Manila was the island's largest Spanish port. By the late 1500s, Spanish ships known as galleons carried silver from New Spain to Manila. 
Traders bought spices, silk, and other, good, other goods in Manila. Sometimes Filipinos joined the galleon crews and sailed with them back to New Spain. The ships became known as Manila galleons. Elizabeth I, Queen of England, wanted to stop the Manila galleons because they made Spain richer. Spain and England were enemies at this time. Drake's Voyage Queen Elizabeth sent Francis Drake to the Americas to keep treasure away from Spain. Drake captured Spanish ships loaded with treasure. By 1579, Drake's ship carried so much treasure that it was sinking. Drake stopped to fix his ship along the Alta California coast, perhaps near Drake's Bay. He spent 36 days with the people there, probably the coast Miwok. Drake said Alta California belonged to England, but Spain still felt it owned the land. After Drake's voyage, the Spanish sent more ships to Alta California. They wanted to keep ships from other countries away from Alta California. Review. What did Cabrillo and Drake find when they came to Alta California? If you look at the map at the top of the page, you'll see the different routes that Cabrillo and Drake took. Sailing to California. Cabrillo and Drake both reached Alta California by sailing north. Skill, reading maps. Where did Cabrillo begin his journey? Page 84, Barriers to Travel, Main Idea. Getting to California was difficult for Europeans because of physical barriers. Sailors traveling to Alta California from other parts of New Spain faced problems. They had to sail against wind currents from the Northwest. A current is a flow of something such as wind or water. The crews also had to steer against water currents that flowed from North to South. A dangerous coast. One sailor described Alta California's coast this way. There are mountains that reach the sky and the sea beats upon them. When sailing along near the land, it seems as if the mountains would fall upon the ships. In 1602, Sebastian Vizcaino led another expedition to Alta California. He sailed up the coast, naming places as he went. He named Santa Barbara, Santa Catalina Island, and San Diego. Vizcaino watched for good harbors. Harbors that protected ships from wind and waves were hard to find. As Vizcaino sailed north, he thought he saw a harbor that was sheltered from all the winds. He named that place Monterey Bay. The map at the top of the page shows Vizcaino's expedition taking place in 1602. The, uh, the anchors show the, a good, what the good harbors were along his way, and the red arrow shows the route that he took. There's also a photo, photograph of him at the right. This map shows some of California's natural harbors. Vizcaino, shown above, thought Monterey was one of them. Exploration ends, page 85. As it turned out, Vizcaino was wrong about Monterey Bay. Winds blew right into the bay. Ships were not protected there. After Vizcaino's voyage, the government of New Spain stopped sending explorers to Alta California. It was too difficult to reach by sea. Traveling there by land was also very difficult. Deserts and high mountains blocked the way from towns in New Spain. The challenge of reaching Alta California kept the Spanish from settling there for more than 150 years. Why did the Spanish stop exploring Alta California after Vizcaino's expedition? Lesson summary. Conquistadors searched for riches and for wa a water route to Asia. Explorers sailed up the California coast and made contact with the Chumash and Miwok Indians. The Spanish stopped exploring Alta California after Vizcaino's 1602 expedition. Why it matters. Early explorers gave many places along the coast the names they still have today, such as San Diego. And if you look at the photograph at the top of the page, you'll see that crossing this dry Sonoran desert was one of the many challenges of reaching Alta California by land.